Hey guys, today we're gonna go ahead and learn how to unlock the bootloader on the Pixel 4a. You would want to do this if you want to root your phone, uh, or you, if you want to install custom ROMs. Uh, really easy to do, and but this will erase everything on your phone. So I do suggest doing this before, uh, right after you buy your phone. But let's go ahead and take a look at how to do it. So I have all the instructions here at uh, forum.highonandroid.com. So let's just follow along uh, doing that. So the first thing we're going to do is turn on OEM unlocking. You can do this by going on your phone and going into settings and going into about phone. And then you're going to go down to uh, build number. Just hit that like five times until it says you're a developer. I already did it. So it says you're already a developer. Hit the back button once. Go to system. Go to advanced. Go to developer options. All right, and make sure OEM unlocking is checked on. I already checked it on, so check it on. It might ask you for your pin, put that in there, and enable, and make sure it's checked on. That's all you need to do. Uh, next, we're gonna go ahead and power off our phone. You can use ADB, but sometimes ADB doesn't work. This is, I think, better method, just using the hardware key so you learn how to use it. Uh, go ahead and hold down volume down and power to enter the fast boot mode. All right, and then you're gonna connect it to your computer via USB Type-C cable. All right, and um, yeah, let's go to our computer here and figure this out. Um, so uh, let's you're going to have to check that drivers are installed. So go ahead and go to start and type control panel if you're using Windows. If you're using Linux or Mac, you do not need drivers. You can skip this step. But if you're using Windows, double check that uh, under device manager, that you have some kind of Android Android ADB interface. All right, it might be under Android device. Mine is under there. So if you see Android bootloader interface or some kind of ADB interface, you're good to go. Um, yeah, it might be under another name here. So when you have the proper drivers installed, you're good. If you don't see that, you can go ahead and download this universal ADB drivers that works for all Windows XP, even uh, 8, 7, 10, 8, you know, blah, blah, blah. So download that, run that program, and it will install ADB drivers. All right, sometimes Windows 10 does come with its own drivers, um, but they might not work correctly. So if it doesn't work, go ahead and um, try those drivers. Next, go ahead and download the fastboot.zip. Uh, this has all the files you need for uh, Windows, Mac, Linux. It's a compressed version of platform tools that I just personally made for you guys, for, for myself. Um, downloads are all down. Click here to download. Just click there and to download. Once it's downloaded, um, you get a folder called fast. Um, you'll get a file called fastboot.zip. Go ahead and extract all, and you'll get a folder called fastboot with all the files you need for um, Windows, Linux, and Mac. And all the commands uh, for Mac or Linux are listed here. The substitute commands. It's literally identical. It's just adding. Um, dash Linux or dash Mac. This is based on the latest. Uh, I just updated like yesterday. So it's uh, as of, yeah, I'll keep updating it. So this is the latest fast boot and ADV. This is all you need. You don't need to have to download the whole platform tools. Um, this is just very condensed version of it. All the files you absolutely need. You don't need all this other files in there. Okay. Once you download it, go ahead and open a command prompt. Uh, go to start and type CMD and you're going to go ahead and type basically everything here. CD download, CD fastboot, fastboot flashing unlock. Uh, but I like typing it out. I'm just OG like that. <laughs> You're gonna type fastboot flash space flashing unlock. And this should unlock your phone. Let's go ahead and get ready. Um, this is how you unlock. And, and you will see here, um, you can go ahead and use the volume keys now to select uh, here we go. Unlock the bootloader and they hit the power button. This will erase everything on your phone, by the way. But this will unlock the bootloader so you don't have to ever do it again. You can root it. You can install twerp. Uh, install custom ROMs. Ready? Go. And this will reset your phone and you will have to start over. Uh, but that's how you unlock the bootloader on the Pixel 4a. The process is, is actually pretty much identical um, for all Pixel devices. But I know uh, sometimes it's better to see uh doing it with an, the real phone so i'm just gonna make it for all the phones so hit start and um, now you you'll have this uh 
Warning sign, don't worry about it. That's completely normal. The bootloader is unlocked and software integrity cannot be guaranteed. Blah, blah, blah. It's just, uh, you know, legality they got to put out there by Google. But it doesn't affect anything on your phone. Um, that's how you can uh, unlock the bootloader on the Pixel 4a and also, you know, any other pixels. Anyway, uh, let me just wait till this goes up on the, it's boot, completely boots up so you can see. Uh, but like I said, you can find all of the uh, written tutorial here and follow along with the video. Because I know sometimes some of you guys follow my videos and then you follow some other tutorial and then tell me like something's wrong. Like somebody was installing a ROM yesterday using fast boot ROM install, which is completely different. This ne I never tell people to install ROM using fast boot. So you see the welcome screen. We're good to go. Um, I think, yeah, you should be able to easily uh, unlock the bootloader on your uh, Pixel 4a. Anyway, have a great day. And as always, stay hot on Android.